Malapit na po tayong matapos sa panahon ng pagkabuhay. Sa susunod na Huwebes po ay aalalahanin natin ang 40th day pagakyat sa langit pero ipagdiriwang natin sa susunod na linggo. At dalawang linggo mula ngayon ay linggo ng Pentecostes. At itatago na natin ang kandilang ito at magsisimula po tayo sa pangkaraniwang panahon. So now that we are nearing the end of the Easter season, the Lord says, you will no longer see me. The Lord says, where I am going, you cannot come. The Lord says, His goodbye, and goodbye leads to absence. Kapag ang isang mahal sa buhay nagpaalam, mararamdaman natin na sila ay nawala. Absence. Simula ng quarantine, absence sa trabaho, absence sa school. Simula ng quarantine, na lockdown yung mahal sa buhay, magdadalawang ba nang hindi nagkikita? Absence. Ramdam na ramdam natin yung absence bago pa man sabihin ni Jesus, I will leave. The world will not see me anymore. Pero kasama dun sa absence na naramdaman natin at siguradong mararamdaman natin sa paglisa ni Jesus, ang pangalawang damdamin ng quarantine ay restless. Dati yung restless, kinakagat yung daliri o yung kuko. O kaya yung restless ay hindi mapakali. Pero naging restless tayo kasi hindi makalabas. Naging restless tayo kasi hindi makapasyal. Naging restless tayo kasi hindi natin magawa yung pangkaraniwang ginagawa natin. At hindi lamang pasyal. Restless tayo kasi yung mabuting gusto mong gawin, hindi mo magawa. Restless tayo kasi yung gusto mong dalawin, hindi pwedeng makita sapagkat may COVID, bawal ang dalaw. So the absence led to restlessness. And when we came to terms with our restlessness, the third feeling of the quarantine was loneliness. Loneliness, which is helplessness. Loneliness, which means we are unable to do anything anymore. We feel like we have become victims of the situation. We feel like we have become losers in this battle. Look at those three words, my dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday. Absence, restless, Loneliness. Absence. When Cardinal Sin died, I grieved. And many of my friends could not understand. Because in my life, he was perpetually now dead and absent. But because of the absence caused by death, that absence purified me, purified my love, and because of the purification of my love for a dear loved one, a dear mentor, I realized that I did not have to go to the crypt of the Manila Cathedral to visit him. In Bataan, in Dagupan, even if I don't have to go, travel to Manila Cathedral where he's buried, I know he's present to me. At alam ko, ganun din sa ating mga mahal sa buhay, na pagkatapos silang mawala, ay nagkakaroon sila ng bagong pananatili sa ating buhay na mas maganda at mas malakas. Why? Because absence is a blessing. Absence purifies presence. 
Absence beautifies presence. And absence empowers a new kind of presence. And absence is needed by presence so that it can truly be divine. Kaya kailangang mawala si Jesus. Hindi dahil walang pakialam. Hindi dahil gusto niya tayong iwanan. Kundi dahil merong magandang magagawa ang absence niya. Sapagat sa kanyang pagiging absent, kahit saan tayo, hindi tayo kailangan pumunta sa Israel, hindi natin kailangan puntahan ang kanyang libingan, kahit saan tayo, the Lord will be present because His absence has purified, has beautified, has empowered all of us. And if you want to grow, you cannot be always present with your loved one. Mga kabataan, hindi pwedeng palaging kasama yung crush na hindi ka naman pinapansin. Hindi pwedeng kasama yung anak na ayaw mong bitawan. Let absence be absence because absence purifies, beautifies, and empowers the presence of the Beloved. Restless. Mayroong patron ng restlessness. Si San Agustin. And he said, O beauty, ever ancient, ever new, my heart is restless until it rests in you. At mayroong karugtong yun. I searched for you. You were inside me, but I was outside. You were within me, but I was outside myself. That is why I did not find you. Ang ibig sabihin, mga minamahal kong kapatid, yung pagpunta sa mall, yung makita mo yung kaibigan, yung makita mo yung pamilya, yung makita mo ulit yung trabaho, dahil ang tagal-tagal nang hindi kayo nakikita, pagkatapos yung makita, ano? And then you will long again. Because when we look for peace, for serenity outside our hearts. It is like drinking salt water when you are thirsty. Subukan po ninyong uminom ng maalat na tubig kapag kayo na uuhaw. Laki-laki na ng tiyan mo, punong-puno ka na ng tubig, uhaw ka pa rin. Bakit? Sapagkat walang kakayahang pumawi ng uhaw ang salt water. At ganoon din yung ating kapaligiran. If your heart is restless, if your heart is restless, please do not look for it in recreation, in your loved one, in your friend. O beauty ever ancient, ever new, my heart is restless. And why is it restless? Because I have been looking for you, for you outside. Hinahanap ko kayo sa labas. Hinahanap ko kayo sa pasyal. Hinahanap ko kayo sa mga taong nakapaligid sa akin. But that is not the place to find you first. Because unless I find you within me, I will not find you anywhere else. Our hearts are restless because we are outside ourselves. Our hearts are restless because we don't like to confront ourselves. Nung hindi na tayo makalabas ng pinto, ginawa na nating mim. Meron tayong passport sa kusina, sa bedroom, sa bintana. Pero hindi pa rin. Bakit? Sapagkat yung quarantine, yung restlessness ng quarantine, ay nag-aanyaya sa ating pumasok sa ating sarili. At sa loob, hindi kailangan ng visa. At sa loob, hindi kailangan ng pamasahe. At sa loob, hindi kailangan maglakad. Sapagkat sa loob, naroroon na ang Diyos naghihintay sa iyo. You were inside me but I was outside. You were within me but I was outside myself. You want to cure your restlessness? Go within you and find God within. 
The restlessness led to loneliness. Ayaw natin ng lonely. Kami mga pari tinatawag na Lonely Boys Club. Hindi totoo yun. Yung broken-hearted, lonely, siguro, pero hindi lahat. Ang totoo, lahat ng tao ay lonely. Ang totoo, ang lahat ng tao ay hindi lang lonely. Ang lahat ng tao dapat maging lonely. We must make friends with loneliness. Why? Because our loneliness makes us confront our helplessness. And when you know you are helpless, when you know you are powerless, anong nasasaktan? Ego. And when loneliness hurts your ego, the ego is crushed. And when your ego is crushed, the soul surfaces. When the ego is destroyed, you will be able to see your soul. The ego is the obstacle to seeing your soul. Loneliness is like a good virus. It attacks your ego. But when ego has been destroyed, you don't die. When ego has been destroyed, you discover life because you have touched your soul. Here is loneliness. Here is your soul. And here is your ego. That ego must be destroyed so that you can get in touch with your soul again. Thank you, quarantine, for the gift of absence. It has beautified presence. It has empowered and purified us. Thank you, restlessness. We found out that we don't have to go out, that God, my Lord, is within me. Thank you, loneliness, because you humiliate me, and when I am humiliated, my ego is crushed, and when my ego is crushed, I can now touch my soul. You cannot build character without absence, without restlessness, and without loneliness. The good news, brothers and sisters, is Absence is good. Restlessness is good. And loneliness is good. Because these three gifts of the quarantine bring out the best in us.